and good morning uh, it is Ronke Posh. So I will start talking to myself um, before people join. Normally I would like to um, wait but you know when you have these live videos and people are waiting and trying to um, gather momentum and get everybody um, to join it's I just try to fast forward. I want to try and see if I can get rid of um, all that from my video. So thanks for joining. I want you to think about something today. Think about this. If your child your niece, your nephew, um, the children in your class, think about this. If they're going through something and they cannot tell you, think about what might happen, the consequences of what might happen if you have a child, any child in, that you, you're, in, you're a caregiver to in any capacity, whether it's a biological child or not a biological child, think about it. Why are they not able to confide in you? Now, a lot of children are online. And a lot of children are going to continue to be online for a significant amount of time. Because now, we, the federal government have already announced in um, Nigeria that schools are not even going to resume. Um, they're going to resume um, anytime soon. They're going to resume at the end of July, beginning of August. They were going to resume. And now they've been told that they cannot resume. Which means that more schools are going to look for strategies, hopefully, to get children online. If they're going to look for strategies to get children online, then what is going to happen? Um, thanks for joining, guys. Um, do say hello. Um, they're going to look for strategies to get online. So when they're online, what happens to our children? We find that the cases of cyberbullying are increasing. Increasing number of cyberbullying everywhere because the, that, is we, that is the avenue. That is the new platform. That is the new playground. That's where children are hanging out. So they're bullying. So why are these children bullying? A lot of them are going through issues at home. So when they come online, they start to bully their friends. They pick on their friends. They form groups. They form WhatsApp groups. They are on social media. They are on different um, platforms. And they do things either by because of peer pressure or they're feeling weak and vulnerable or they want to feel some kind of power. And, on, and that, tomorrow, it's not even on Saturday, tomorrow, if you haven't registered for the cyberbullying um uh, chat with teens and their parents. Please, I will drop the comment. I will drop the link in the comment. Please register so that we can um, talk about cyberbullying. There's so many types of cyberbullying. There are even over ten types of cyberbullying, and even adults get cyberbullied. I keep telling people that I have been cyberbullied myself online. There was one one significant one that happened, and it really um, made me really, really, really sad. And it, it has an effect on people. And you've heard of people that even killed themselves. They committed suicide as a result of cyberbullying. It can happen to anybody. Don't think, oh, I don't really comment on Facebook. Nobody can cyberbully me. Even when you're quiet on Facebook, they can still pick uh, on social media. They can still pick on you because you're quiet. Because some people are just looking for some kind of avenue to vent their frustration. And this COVID-19, you can see a lot of people are broke. A lot of people are coming out and saying all sorts of stuff about their marriage, about their kids, about their parents, all sorts of things. You know, people are coming out uh, and they're being encouraged to come out to, um, um, to release so that they don't blow up. That sort of thing. And whilst it's important that we talk, social media is not always the platform to talk about things like this. So I encourage you to join us tomorrow. It's a free session. And it will be holding on YouTube. If you haven't joined my YouTube channel, please, it's um, youtube.com Ronke Posh. Or just search for Ronke Posh and subscribe. The subscription is free. For those that think it's paid, it's free. And then there's a bell there. Hit the notifications so that when I start, Fina is going to join me as a guest speaker. And when I start, and there are going to be surprises there tomorrow. It's going to be fun. So um, I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen there. But please um, join and hit the bell so that when we start, we uh, um, you can just join and thanks for all, to all that um, joined the um, um, the live premiere yesterday when we talked about the girl child and the secrets that the girl child should know. It's still there. All the materials are there. Parents, teachers, empowerment, all sorts of things that are still there. But tomorrow session at four o'clock. Um, bookmark it and then register so that we can also send you um, some information prior to um, the event starting tomorrow at four o'clock. Um, teens can be there, so share it on, with teens and their friends on different platforms. Um, but I will also share the flyer in the comment section so that you can you can share it. I told people if you need it, you can also get it on WhatsApp or official WhatsApp 090, then 999999969, number nine, and then 86. And then you can get um, more information 
on there and you can even ask to be added to our broadcast list on telegram as well and on facebook so that you can get all the information when it comes to your parenting when it comes to education um when it comes to your teens your children now think about this also because i started um this uh, live uh, facebook live saying think about this think about your child being cyberbullied online and not able to tell you and sometimes when we are shouting a lot, we're shouting in the house, we're shouting at home, we're angry with our husband, angry with our wife, angry with our children, always angry, angry, angry. And this COVID, a lot of money is not moving around for some people. And so the pressure is on. So people are frustrated. So if people are frustrated, they take it out on their children. If your, your, parent, if your children are seeing you that you have mood swings and stuff like that, if they're going through something, they don't want to, especially those children are very caring and sympathetic. They don't want to put more pressure on you. They want to keep it to themselves. Now, keeping it to themselves can get the children into a lot of trouble because they cannot talk to you. So your shouting can actually cause your child that's already in trouble to get into more trouble because there will not be an, a quick intervention for that child because that child has not been able to talk to you because this your um your your the fear so there's a fear that is attached to it. The child cannot talk to the parent because the parent is gets angry. And sometimes even the way we respond, so when a child is going through something, you just say, ha, what did that to you? The person, you know, you just overreact. And many children don't like that overreaction. So they want you to respond. They don't want you to react and sh by shouting. So you need to take it easy. So these are some of the strategies that are available for parents, that, that parents can use. Um, thanks for being here. And Tamika says, thanks for getting pushed. I learned to relearn all over again. Yes, and it's very important that we continue to learn. I always give an example of, of my dad. He's so wonderful. And, you know, he's, he, he's he, a, a soldier in the army. He's 81 now. Um, but he's, he will always be a soldier. A proud one at that because he was, he's a soldier, especially when, um, uh, what's it called? He was, has always been a soldier. Just give me a second to just adjust this. Um, this one to adjust. I don't like the setting too much. It's just showing my head. Like I, I like I only have a head. <gasps> just give me a second. I'll be sorted in a second. Yeah, I think it's better now instead of just um head. <laughs> head webinar. So yeah. So yeah, so he learns. He constantly learns. So he is able to work with us, his kids, and um understand us better. Uh if he needs to apologize, he is able to he does it. There's no big deal. In it, so we find a parent that some parents cannot even apologize to their children as well. We're losing them when we do stuff like this, we keep losing our children when we do um, this sort of stuff. So, I want to urge you as parents to um, make a decision. So, when I started on was it Tuesday, I said, Make a decision that you don't want to shout and you don't want to beat, but you want to parent your child effectively. And make a decision to know and understand that even where it says. A rod of correction that is a rod of love it's not a rod to hit and anytime you say that it's a rod to hit that is the bible has given you permission to hit your child also remember that in the book of deuteronomy it's also there that a rebellious child should be stoned to death do you want to stone your child to death or do you want to pick and choose what you want in your in uh, when you're parenting your child do you want to pick what is convenient and that hitting your child is just a quick fix that is what it is. So don't hold on to um, don't hold on to um, certain scripture because you want to hit yourself. Communication is still the best way. It's still the best way, even for you as an adult. If you err, and when you err, because we all do, should we be smart? Should we be hit? So the the book one on one um, tips to curb beating and chatting has a lot of strategies. It has a lot of tips. It has a lot of reasons where. When you ponder on it and you think about it and you implement it, you'll be able to have a better relationship with your child. Think about the value of having a better relationship with your child in a world that is so dangerous, in a world that is uncertain. Think about the benefits of having a great relationship with your child. I know the other child of the dad that my daughter is going through something. She will tell me because that, that fear factor, the respect and fear factor are two different things. Your child can respect you and, um, and not... And not fear you and your child can fear you and not respect you and they can't wait they just can't wait to grow up and leave the house so you don't want that sort of thing where, where your child doesn't even want to come back home because you've been so mean with your beating with your shouting and with your piercing words 
Because the words that we use, verbal abuse, emotional abuse, they get into the heart and the core of many, many children. And you still, many will say, oh, I grew up all right, I grew up all right, my friends did this to me. And I'll keep on telling them that, what is your measure of growing up all right? What makes you think you grew up all right? So what are those, how are you coping as an adult? Are you sure that you're not um, using certain um, behavior, a certain baggage, I like to call them, to um, numb the pain? So you find that some people are addicted to social media, some people are addicted to gossiping, some people are addicted to um, uh, uh, sh uh, shopping online, some people are addicted to drinking, some people are addicted to sex, pornography, all sorts of things. These are often coping mechanisms for a lot of people. So please do not transfer that to your children. No matter what it is, no matter what it is, what is very, one thing that's very common and a call that I've received uh, is about children that are sexting at this time. And what is sexting? We will talk about sexting tomorrow at the cyberbullying chat on, on my YouTube channel. So make sure that you are hitting the bell and you are subscribing, it is free. Sexting is common these days. Now, the children have not been able to touch themselves, they've not been able to kiss themselves, and a lot of teens are doing it, and your child may be doing it. So don't think that, um, oh, my own child is, is too born again to do anything like that. Um, sorry, um, don't think your own child is too born again to do anything like that. Your child may be doing it. We, we pray and hope they don't do it, but the reality is that we must um, be realistic. We are, must be realistic, especially uh, many parents, they just think, oh, if I pray, nothing is gonna happen. Prayer without action is void. Prayer without action is void. So make sure that you are talking to your child. How is the child feeling? So we don't tell the children, oh, don't have sex with this person. Don't kiss. Don't do this. You're a child of God. You're this and that. But no, irrespective of the fact that you're a child of God, you grow up at some point. Children have feelings in their body just like adults do. They have emotions. They have, you know, they get aroused by their friends. They get excited. And they don't even know what those feelings are. Who is teaching them about the feelings and the tingling in their body? Who is telling them all those sort of things? Who is telling your child that ah, you know when when you're 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 getting all uh, findly and your your body is getting up and all sorts of things depending on the language you want to use with your child that um, it's because you like that boy or because you like that girl and it's a normal thing but you don't have to act on it either going by going to meet the person and doing anything online or offline or to yourself you have these deep conversations. You must be able to have them with your teens because even if you tell your child not to have um, sex, tell your child not to kiss a boy, tell your child not to do all sorts of things, and they're having these feelings, and they're thinking, what am I going to do with these feelings? How am I going to channel that, all that energy? Where am I going to channel it to? What am I going to do with it? So we must understand that our concern needs to be deeper. And if we're already shouting and beating children because they stumbled on pornography, now, pornography is there. It's very, very easy to stumble on pornography these days as a result of social media. And that's why I've also told people that put restrictions on the phone and ensure that your children are not using um, social, um, these phones in their bedrooms. They're not using the open spaces and things like that. Put um, um, apps on the phone, like Hero Studio, like a Google Family Time, like Screen Time. Use all those apps, download it. Some of them you might have to pay for them. But at least you know that when you are visiting this site, you get an alert, you get an instant email, you know. And it blocks them as well from continuing on such certain sites. There are pop-ups and all sorts of things. Now, I can remember the time when my daughter saw something on, um, I think online or TV, I can't remember. And she came to show me, I'm not looking at what they're doing. And they're rabbits. I think those rabbits were kissing or doing something ridiculous. You know, the cartoons these days are very, very... Um, they, they, they put a, an element of sex, they lace it with um, sex. So what is it that your child is has stumbled on, on online? Now, if you've had the conversation that you've told the child that you can find people kissing online, but well, you shouldn't be watching that because it's not the right thing to do. It's not healthy for you to be consuming that kind of content. And if you see something like that, let me know about it. If your child should see something online, the child can say, oh, mommy, look at what I saw online. Well, I, I, I stopped looking at it because you've already told me not to look at it. These are now the smaller ones. So you can, and then you can now have it, which is that a reinforcement, a reinforcement. And if it's the first time, you can use it as a teaching moment. Now, if they're older children, you must have already have had that conversation. Tough conversation, yes. But as we go on, I will continue to try during this COVID, as I get more time, for your children to join, um, Conversation. So I'm going to have one. I'm having teens tomorrow. Um, please join in as a parent, as your teens join in, as a youth worker, as a teacher. You can join in. Then I will have for younger children about 
parts and if you're interested in the body parts you know where um, and the sex that we're going to talk about and we're going to sing some songs and have some fun and don't touch me here don't touch me there if you want to have um, that conversation we would also have that one maybe next week Saturday if my diary is um, is free we can have um, that conversation where we can just talk about body parts we can talk about um, um, you have breast you have a penis you have a vagina um, we don't we can have that conversation in a nice and fun way so if you want your children or you know anybody that has little children just tag them in the comments and I will um, I'll show up next week Saturday to have um, that conversation because our children need to protect themselves sex at this time now is not a physical thing um, when, when it's physical right now it's for children it's online and they are either masturbating watching pornography or touching themselves in front of other people they are sexting and sending their news to other people and they're getting into trouble and sometimes they will have even done it because in the heat of the moment people do things so maybe you're up like uh, in those days when you when you, you will be with a boy or a boy with a girl then you you kiss the person and say oh i didn't mean to now what they're doing now is they are sending their news because these people are soliciting and asking them for it and they will have done it and they will be like oh my god what did i just do i've done it or maybe they've even shared it with a girlfriend or a boyfriend and you see the boys it's a bragging right for them they want to brag they want to brag so they will share it and your child might be going through this thing because um their reputation is at stake for example and anything like that it's really really spread remember the case that we had in nigeria of some girl in the university that was having sex and it went around and around and around and around who didn't hear about it i heard about it i didn't want to watch it until i went to go and even check that thing and i thought it can be so bad that it's going around like this it was terrible and i keep praying for that girl that god will help her heal and i pray that she can even get opportunities to go and start again in another country because it is terrible cyber bullying is terrible cyber bullying is different from um, bullying it's still bullying but it is vicious. It is vicious because in a very short period of time, a lot of information can get around to so many people and even people that matter to you. So I'm very excited with cyberbullying talk now. So tomorrow, we will continue the cyberbullying talk. Next week, we'll talk about body parts and um, sex and sexuality. So for the smaller ones, and we're not talking about how to have sex. It's just who they are, their identity. So we will have that conversation um, next week. So make sure that you think about it. Will your child confide in you? If your child is being harassed for sex online, will that child tell you? If that will that child if that child makes a mistake online and sends a nude, will that child tell you? Or you, you will find out, or you will never even know. What sort of parent are you? You must be that kind of parent that they can relate with. Command and control authoritarian um, parenting doesn't really work anymore. It doesn't really work anymore. You push them away and don't really know how to hide things. They really, really know, especially for parents that are not even very, very tech savvy. They would have some apps and some places that they are visiting on their site and they can hide them on their devices. You can go there and check their WhatsApp and money to online. You didn't find anything there. That's smarter than you. That's not what, that's not the way. But communication and good value systems, when they have a good relationship, a healthy and robust relationship with you, you can talk about a lot of things. You make yourself available. To your child and talk about those sort of things so i don't really want my morning videos to be too long um yes Montella, thanks for being here thanks everyone for being here and be relatable thanks the law for being here damizil thanks for being here vera thanks for being here elsie evelyn dami elizabeth everyone that is here um i appreciate you um for being here so i want the videos to be short in the mornings um so that um, it's nice and punchy and you take away a point and more importantly, is that you implement the things that you're learning. Runcareposh.com 101 tip. Runcareposh.com forward slash 101 tip. Get a copy of the ebook. Download it today. All you need to do is make the payment. Either you do a transfer or you can use the pay stack that is on there for local and international payments. And then once you do that, you just fill a, a, a short form, just three lines, your name and your email, and boom, you get it. Download it. And I've written the book in such a way that they are numbered. They are numbered. So you're not going to be bogged down with reading and getting tired. Because I know that a lot of Nigerians are busy. Well, everyone around the world is busy. And a lot of people don't really want to read um, information and information. So I tried something new, which was to make them punchy in bullet points. So if you've read number 1 to 10, for example, you can just say, okay, I start at number 10. I'm going to read 11 to 20 tomorrow and see how it goes. So try, try and get a copy of that um, ebook if you haven't done it already. And if you are in the UK or in the US, 
it's also the physical copy and it's also on amazon amazon um dot co dot uk or amazon.com 101 tips to stop the beating and the shouting it will happen on my um, youtube channel tomorrow so please please and please fina chichi kg will be joining us as well tomorrow to talk about this cyberbullying it's very important that you know about it and how to help your children if they're going uh if they're being bullied um uh, online it's very important so if you haven't subscribed click the subscribe button and the notification bell um so that you can get um you can know what is happening i would also drop that on please drop that form in the comment section so that um, people can um can fill the form as well get your contact details and make sure that you join tomorrow subscribe to the channel as well i talked about the girl child yesterday uh, the girl child things the girl child to know um and things your son should also know about the girl child so even things like rape for example um, it's not something that people talk with, about to their sons about. So, boys, what do you do when you're being pressured to rape a girl, or when you think you have to have your way with the girl? You know, all those matters. Uh, they are on my YouTube channel, and it is free to subscribe. Um, so please don't be um, stingy with it in the, by clicking the subscribe button. You will get a lot of value on that channel. Um, feel free to share this video as well. There's no problem um, if you do that. Uh, let's just continue to do our best to be great parents, to be great educators. To um, raise great children that will make a difference in our society um, today, tomorrow, and forever. So thank you so much for joining me, um, and I will see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. when we talk about cyberbullying, the types of cyberbullying, the kinds of cyberbullying, the effects of cyberbullying, how and why people feel in a certain way, what they can do about cyberbullying, how can they prevent it, how can they protect them, and what are the first few things they should do if they are being cyberbullied. So much, so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. God bless you and have a phenomenal, phenomenal day. Thank you. Bye. Okay, boy.